Like other prawns, Pineus monodon has three larval stages. Nopleus, Protozoa, and Mysis. Each with a number of substages which require a molting of the larva. The Nopleus has a pear-shaped body which elongates from 0.32 millimeters in the first substage to 0.54 millimeters in the sixth or last substage. It possesses a rudimentary eye in the front end and spines posteriorly. The number of spines or caudal formula increases from one pair in the first substage to seven pairs in the last substages. All six substages are completed in one and one half days. The nopleus swims in short spurts by means of three pairs of appendages. The first and second antennae and mandibles. It exhibits positive phototaxis, meaning it is attracted to light. With both mouth and anus not yet fully developed, it does not feed and subsists on yolk instead. Commonly referred to as zoya, the term protozoa more accurately describes the second larval stage in pineids. It is markedly different from the nucleus with its anterior head portion covered by a loose-fitting carapace, followed by a slender segmented thorax and abdomen. The maxillae and maxillipeds are now fully functional with numerous setae that filter phytoplankton. Therefore, the protozoa becomes the first feeding stage. The larvae swim in a horizontal position with their backs upward. The protozoa has three substages. The first protozoa has cecile or attached eyes and an unsegmented abdomen. The second protozoa has a rostrum, stocked eyes and a segmented abdomen. And a third protozoa has uropods and dorsal spines in the abdominal segments. The three substages are completed in five days with total length averaging 1.06 millimeters for the first protozoa to 3.12 millimeters for the third protozoa. With the molting of the last protozoa, the larva metamorphoses into the mice stage. The third and last larval stage, the mysis, appears shrimp-like with a fusion of head and thorax into a cephalothorax covered by the carapace. Like the protozoa, they are filter feeders of plankton, but they are relatively more sluggish in movement with the head pointing obliquely downwards. Swimming consists of sudden backward darts accomplished by thoracic propulsion. This is the very same tail flick reaction characteristic of adults. Development is completed in four to five days with average total length increasing from 3.78 millimeters for the first mysis to 4.56 millimeters for the third mysis. Closely resembling the adult prawn, post larvae develop from the molted third mice substage. The rostrum exceeds the tips of the eyes and develops a dorsal and later ventral spines. The well-developed pleopods become the primary organs for swimming. The periopods are used for clinging and crawling. The larval and early post-larval stages exhibit a day-night pattern of vertical migration from the sea bottom to the water surface. The planktonic larvae are also subjected to wave action which carries them in a horizontal direction. The combined vertical and horizontal actions result in a net movement towards the shoreline. 
Larvae of some pinnated species are transported in this manner up to 100 kilometers from spawning to nursery grounds. Since the larvae fend for themselves without the benefit of parental care, only a small fraction survive to metamorphose into the post-larval stage. By the time Pineus monodon fry reach the coastline, they are at least 14 days old into their post-larval life or PL14. From the shore waters, the post larvae, now called juveniles, seek mangroves and brackish water rivers, which serve as nurseries and feeding grounds. With a positive response to surfaces, they cling to substrates such as twigs and exposed roots of mangroves. These substrates provide food and protection from predation and cannibalism, especially for molting and weak individuals. Males can develop and produce fully mature sperm while still in the estuaries. For females, however, ovaries may start developing in brackish water areas, but full maturation and subsequent spawning take place only in offshore waters or rarely in mouths of bays where seawater enters. Supo spawners like wild fry may be found the whole year round, although peaks of abundance are seasonal. Pineus monodon females may have multiple spawnings in a single season. Data for other species, Pineus japonicus, Pineus latisulcatus, and Pineus bergiensis, indicates intervals of 1 to 2.7 months between consecutive spawnings. Like other crustaceans, giant tiger prawns are nocturnal meaning they spawn, molt, mate, and feed actively at night. They feed on small, slow-moving bottom invertebrates with preference for small shrimps, crabs, mollusks or shells, and marine worms. Pineus monodon keep to themselves and tend to burrow in fine mud or silt, unlike the non-burrowing white shrimps which form groups or schools. As benthic organisms, the tiger prawns remain in the bottom of the sea up to a ripe old age of two or even three years, some reaching 500 grams in size unless they die earlier of disease, predation, or cannibalism. Understanding the biology of a given species is necessary for aquaculturists to develop culture techniques in seed production and farming. Prawn broodstock tanks, for example, should provide the minimum area for successful mating to take place. Hatchery technicians, on the other hand, must know the required water salinity for each larval stage to ensure survival of prawn larvae. Much of the information on the biology of Pineus monodon is the result of continuing research conducted by scientists of the Aquaculture Department of the Southeast Asian Fisheries Development Center based in Tigbawan, Iloilo, in the Philippines.